From Schenectady, New York, Drew Davis is a conduit for NHRL, funneling prospective builders into the sport from his position as a 10th grade English teacher. He brings Blackjack, his premier 12-pound vertical spinning robot, which is a scaled-up version of his most popular 3-pounder, Jack Move. With one hand on his hip and a finger in the air, it's Disco. Don Durfler's quintessential vertical spinning robot has accumulated more titles outside of NHRL than any other robot here at Havoc All-Stars. He's yet to trophy at NHRL and is looking to change that. Honey Shock, from the Maryland-based team Honeycrack, has been doing nothing but getting better lately. With refinement after refinement to their 3D printed TPU chassis and titanium armor, they've just about cracked the code. Will this be the iteration that puts them over the top? And wins them a championship? It's been a banner year for Jake Hoffman and Maximizer. Well, not literally. Even with two golden dumpsters this year, they came up just shy of getting their name in the rafters in November. Jake has been refining this right hook horizontal after every competition, and there's no doubt they've got some new tech up their sleeve for this one. Tomas and Sombra 12 have a lot of weight on their shoulders, representing all of Brazil for Havoc All-Stars. Sombra means shadow, which is fitting because the fear struck by their beautifully machined beater bar is big enough to blot out the sun. Cthulhu. This Lovecraftian horror of a horizontal is brought to you by Cory Coakley of the Coakley Fighting Robot Dynasty. For a job, Cory cuts metal with a wire EDM, but for fun, he cuts metal with Cthulhu. Tony D'Ambrosio has just about more connections in the fighting robot scene than anyone. He's leveraged those connections and scaled up every lesson he's learned in his three pound beater bar robot, Blackbird, to optimize Darkstar his latest 12-pound beater bar bot with a multitude of configurations for each potential opponent. Team Honeycrack's Liam King brings Buzzkill. With a year of development and nearly two dozen fights under his belt, Liam has fully optimized Buzzkill to become a lethal, undercutting machine. Don't let the innocent face and cute little hat of Bobby fool you, he's here to do work. Horizontal spinning work. Featuring a unique big wheel design with foamy tires made to get chewed up rather than knocked off. But he's not all soft and cuddly. Between those squishy wheels is a wicked spinning weapon. Minor Threat 5 is a knockout specialist. Don't let the name fool you, they've packed all of the latest deadly technology into a dense package, oriented into a design most optimized for the meta. Of all of Jameson Go's number one ranked robots, Psycho is his 12 pound one. And while it seems to go under the radar somehow, it's far from a sleeper. His vertically spinning drumette has led him to 10 NHRL knockouts. And with Jameson's unyielding drive to succeed, and the fact that he came up short of winning any Golden Bretts in November, you know he's going to be hungry for a championship. December 5th, 6th, and 7th. Be there. I will.